Set in a dystopian world in the year 2070, EMOT, a pharmaceutical corporation, has overtaken the government due to humans' reliance on their drug. Their drug being an exaggeration on antidepressants, where emotions are more commonly prescribed and taken recreationally rather than being naturally felt. The story tackles many issues, but our focus is to create a pilot that explores the theme of addiction. Today there is a stigma to being an addict, however, addiction can come in many different forms and can affect anyone. Emo gives a unique perspective of the helplessness of an addict, as everyone can relate to the strong desire to be the best person they can be. By using the names of emotions rather than drugs, it creates a huge empathy for the addict, even if you've never experienced addiction yourself. Have you ever wondered what would happen if we endorse a product too much? If we started to rely too heavily on a substance, how much power are we really giving it? And in turn, what grasp does that item have on us? Hi, my name is Joshua Bulmer. I'm the writer and director of Emot. Emot is a really personal project for me, and I really hope someone out there resonates with the characters that we show for this story. I think the advantage of calling the drugs emotions is that it narrows down and tells the audience what the addict is looking for. At the end of the day, anyone who's addicted to anything is looking for a certain emotion. That's what it boils down to. In the past year that we've been working on Emot, we've been able to flesh out this incredible world that we've discovered and tell this story over the course of around five episodes we're aiming for. We decided for the first episode we should focus down on a more intimate story with our main character for the pilot being Jake. My name's Alfie Nugent and I'm playing the role of Jake, the protagonist in our first episode of Emot. The first episode of Emot revolves around my character, Jake, who is a loving and caring older brother to his two siblings, Charlie and Lucy. For me, Jake embodies the modern addict, crushed by the pressure and the overwhelming nature of the world and society he lives in, as well as losing his parents and having to look after his two younger siblings. Jake is tricked by his government, by the society that he lives in, to take these emotions in order to function as a human and be a good brother to his siblings. For me, Jake's a tragic hero, really. He is forced into this way of life. He, once in, can't find another way out, is desperate, is overwhelmed, is longing for a new way out, for a helping hand in the darkness. Jake has these insecurities and he turns to Emot for help. Emot doesn't cure his insecurities, it simply exploits them to make profit. By taking these patches, he falls into his own securities. He's led to believe that he's not good enough when he's not on the patches. Therefore, he has to take them. Otherwise, he's letting down his loved ones. I'm very excited to be a part of this project because I think it shines a light in the darkness on modern day addiction. As I said before, Jake is an embodiment of the modern addiction, lost, not supported by the powers that be and feeling insecure and lost in this world. I think this is a very, very good angle to look at addiction from. I think it humanizes it. And I think it takes addiction and forms it into something that someone who, due to circumstance, hasn't experienced these things and sheds a new light on it. What we've done with Emot is we've taken something that may not have been experienced by everyone, an addiction, and we've generalized it, but also centralized it. By calling the patches emotions, it touches something that everyone can understand. It's such a unique way of exploring this and you guys are gonna love it. Hello, I'm Steve Allen, and I'm the co-creator of Emot. Well, what can I say about Emot? It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, that we've got these amazing patches, we've got all this brilliant storytelling, we've got Jake, we've got whew, Nathan as well. Absolute brilliant character, more to come from him in later episodes. So help us out to make these wonderful episodes. This brilliant story is just waiting to be told. It's brilliant. We've got the Criterions. Oh, how I love the Criterions. And not to mention, of course, the whole vibe of it together. Absolutely great grunge sci-fi, just waiting to be behold. It's just so... Chef's kiss. Hi, um, I'm Catalia. I am the producer for Emot, and I'm also being a big part of the crowdfunding. Uh, so what I'm doing for that 
is I'm doing a series of Twitch streams on Catamix 25. I'm also really happy to announce that on January the 27th at 3 p.m. we will be doing an extra special live stream on Catamix 25 on Twitch where I will be playing Hogwarts Legacy as usual but with a very extra special guest, Mr. Alfie Mutant himself. Our crowdfunding process has already begun and we will be doing this until the beginning of March when we will close our campaign. Um, the way you can donate is that down below we will be leaving a PayPal link which you just click on it and then you write whatever number you want to donate. We are really appreciative of any amount that you donate as it will be used for the film. It will go to our different production departments so it is brilliant. The other way that you can donate is through Twitch. But just beware that if you do donate later, we won't receive it until after. But yeah. Me and Steve started creating this project about just over a year ago now. And yeah, yeah, just about a year it's now. It's been that long. Um, but we're so thrilled to be finally here about to film in March. Please help us donate. We've worked really hard on the script and just the props. All the departments are put in the way and it's incredible to see it all come together finally. Um, we were lucky enough obviously last year to film a bit of proof of concept uh, on a quite a minimal budget. And please help us reach our budget goal, it'll be really appreciated and we just want to give you the best project we possibly can make. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Sub Alley YouTube channel.